Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Infinite Advice. This is going to be a reading for Aries for November 8th to the 12th, 2021. And of course, there's a whole bunch of people out there. This is not going to be every single person's story. Take what's yours, leave the rest alone. Also, feel free to stop around the energy. I could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with. Okay, so two more shuffles for Aries, you versus them. November 8th to the 12th, 2021, Aries. One more shuffle. And we recently had a new moon in Scorpio. And we have um, two eclipses coming up for the rest of the year. So you guys are, you know, we're going to be going through massive changes. And you guys are probably going to experience that also yourselves. You know, we're all on the same journey here. So... Right now, Aries, you could just be doing a lot of thinking, you know, like, what's my next step? What should I do? Or just thinking like, you know, trying to bring things into reality. But you could be thinking about things in your life um, that are repetitive, like relationship dynamics. Like you always tend to meet the same type of people or it's like you're in a cycle um, with a specific person. Uh, and this could be actually helping you grow. So this might be a cycle that kind of has to happen. Yeah, with Treasure Island here, you know, um, I feel like you're starting to go towards your blessings, Aries. You know, you're just getting blessed, you know. With Treasure Island here, one man's trash is another man's treasure. You know, it's like um, you tend to see the positive about things. You're very independent. I feel like you don't really seek validation from other people. Like, you don't really care about other people's opinions and stuff like that. Um, yeah, of course, we all need some guidance, you know. But I feel like, you know, you're very independent to yourself. You could just be kind of taking things slow right now in your life. Uh, meanwhile, here in the center, there's going to be a lot of changes. Uh, financial changes also. With that, a change in the wind. You could also be trying to start your own business or um, getting a new career. Uh, a change in the wind card often has to do with changes in finances, you know, changes with money. And here on your person side, Unfinished Symphony, it's not over yet. At least for them, it's not over. Okay, you guys might be like, done, close the chapter, screw you. <laughs> but them, they're not done. They're not. Come to the edge. So I feel like they're about to take this leap of faith to do things the right way um, and live their best life. Uh, right now, I feel like um, they're kind of one foot in, one foot out. They could be dealing with things themselves. Um, see the fates? This is kind of a destined connection here. But you see, it's like all those mind games are not for you. So if they're not real and authentic, you know, I feel like you're not really going to entertain it. Time for a nap, you know? Uh, but I feel like, um, I just feel like this person is not done and there's a reason that they have to come back. So, uh, I wasn't going to use this deck, but I'll use it. Okay, so Aries, you versus them for November 8th to the 12th, 2021. I mean, I don't know if they're fully going to reach out yet. Right now, it just looks like it's not over for them and there's changes in finances here. Aries, you versus them, November 8th to the 12th, last show for Aries. Yeah, being at the bottom of the deck, um, both of you guys could be kind of lonely. Or, I, I feel like it's more this person because it's not over for them. So, for them, it's like they could be to themselves. Um, with that nine card there, I feel like you're to yourself and they're suffering because of that. Like, because, you know, you're not really entertaining them, you're not reaching out. And all they can really think about is the memories of love that they have. And your intuition might be telling you that you know that they're thinking about you or you know that they miss you in general. Um, because you probably gave them a lot. Material and spiritual prosperity. But I feel like because you're becoming more independent, you're going towards relationships that are equal give and take. Yeah, this card has a lot of yin to the yang here. Like, there's a lot of feng shui, like, with the with the landscaping here. But, anyways, um, there's going to be new beginnings in terms of your finances. You're probably, like, if it's like you're leaving one job, you're going to go towards a job that you actually love. Um, 
Others of you guys, it's like you're going to start, you know, your own business. You're going to start something that you actually care about. And for your person here, you see prosperity begins. You see they're planting this seed here. This is like the Ace of Wands in this deck. They're wanting a new beginning. So for them, it's not over. There's one, 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 one here. So four, so that's 11, 11. Uh, some of you guys could be dealing with twin flame. You see, but I feel like right now, um, it's more of, there's a new beginning here, but I feel like it's individual new beginnings. Um, and they're going to come back because they're, they're developing this clear mindset. But right now they could be elevating themselves spiritually, trying to get stronger, building their confidence right now, gaining their power back. Right now, they could just be watching you, but I feel like they're going to come towards you soon after this transformation of theirs um, to work with you. Okay, so as of right now, it's looking like it's not done for them. So Aries, number 8 to the 12, 2021. One more shuffle. You versus them. So right now, I feel like this is just all in the head with this thinker card and this suffering in silence here. Um... Oh, and this is a 44 card. So some of you guys could be seeing a lot of four, four, fours, one, one, ones, ones, you know, four ones, a lot of that. Um, but right now you could just be focusing on your finances or very nurturing down to earth. Uh, you could be dealing with someone like that, talking to someone like that. That's very nurturing down to earth. Um, and they could be feeling a little bit left out or just not exactly where they want to be in their life right now. And you could be hanging out with this person, hanging out more with friends and family. Um, and you're still hopeful. Some of you guys are not hanging out with people. Some of you guys are just mind, body, soul, and spirit, becoming more aligned. And that being said, you're very hopeful and still keeping the faith about your future here. Um, but there's uh, things are changing. Again, we have those two eclipses coming up. There's going to be a lot of changes. See, your person here, they're walking away from someone or something or just past bad emotional baggage and they're very much focused on you see they have a lot of regrets here and i feel like right now that's something that they're focusing on but they have to feel it to heal it you know what i'm saying so they have to actually look at those regrets in order to you know they have to want to be better to be better so they have to look at that stuff um right now you might be holding back from friends and family uh, you could also be trying to save up money. And again, you know, you're just very to yourself doing your own thing. I feel like um, you're very independent. You could be stable as well. But things are blowing up for you because you're planning your future. Um, but I don't really feel like you are aware that this person is going to come back. This could be a Gemini that you're dealing with. A Pisces that you're dealing with. Um, but again, they're wishing for you. They have regrets because they realize that you're what they were wishing for. And I'll tell you, you know, people, sometimes people have to learn the hard way. You know, it's like people sometimes hurt the people that God sends to heal you. And then you go through karma. So um, I feel like here they're realizing it and they're kind of waking up to that reality that you were everything they were wishing for. And now they regret it because it's like things blew up in their face. And they're really hoping that, you know, you still plan your future with them in mind. Whoever this person is, it could be a new person or past person, but it looks more like a past person being that there's regrets here. In general, this person can have regrets in their life, you know, and it's like, wow, like you're everything I've been wishing for. You know, I wish I was farther in life. Um, that's also things that this person could be dealing with. But again, I feel like they're getting over that stuff. And for them, it's not over with you. So let's just do a few clarifiers and then, yeah, I'll move on to this other deck here. It's like messages from your person. And then, yeah, I'll let you guys go. So what's the tower card? You can also be dealing with an, an Aquarius. See, I feel like you're just done. You know, you're at this um, checkpoint in your life. You're looking at the bad, you're looking at the good. And you're just, you know, not really wanting to go towards bad anymore in your life. What's the three of wands? You know, see, it's just you're going through this major transformation. Um, you're planning your future. You're dealing with the Scorpio. That's a death card. Mm. See, you're just planning for a better future. 
Um, yours is kind of, yeah, repetitive now. As for your person with the Eight of Cups, Aries. You see, they're doing a lot of that inner healing with the Five of Cups. And, and by doing so, I feel like um, they're becoming more emotionally stable. You know, things could have been very rocky for them uh, here. But I feel like they're really taking their shadow self and they're going towards smooth waters. So, and your shadow self isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just those things we bury inside us and we don't work on. So they probably have codependency issues, jealousy issues, insecurity issues, um, ego issues, anger problems. And those are all things that they had to look at. But the only way to help someone that has those issues is to not help them. That's the only way to help them. Is to not help them so that they help themselves. So, uh, what's the lover's card for Aries? Yes, yeah, see, they want to come back and start a relationship. They really do. They do. What's the moon card? They choose you. You might think that all they care about is money, but no, they choose you and they want to come towards you. The King of Wands is someone with action. They want to come towards you. So this person, you know, they realize that you were everything they were wishing for. They could have juggled you. They could have played you. They could have lied to you. Had a lot of false promises. The Knight of Wands is not really the best person. It's someone that's inconsistent, very in and out, very hot and cold, kind of a player, F girl, F boy. And they're realizing, again, that they broke their own heart. They played themselves. They're realizing they played themselves. So, um, and this could be someone like I'm talking to a guy, Aries. This girl was very stable, very nurturing, very down to earth, but, um, they weren't really realizing that they didn't have to play you. So for them, it's not over. You know, they want to come back. They want to redeem themselves. What's the Knight of Wands, Aries? See the Empress. This person could be a mom, could want to be the mother of your kids. Uh, you could have kids. And they want to love you unconditionally. So this person wants to come in um, because they love you unconditionally. They're, you were everything they were wishing for, and they messed up. For them, it's not over. What's the passion ignited and change in the wind? But there's major changes here. Okay, it's going to be equal give and take. You're going to have equal relationships um, with someone that you really don't have the best history with, with that six of cups upside down. So this person, you know, you could have gave them a lot of money, and now they want to come in and give you money. Um, they want to help you out in general, but I feel like, you know, both of you guys can't really help, but think about the bad times, you know, cause we could forgive, but we can't really forget, you know what I'm saying? Like, I understand. So what's the four of pentacles here, Aries? See, I feel like you're probably not wasting any energy or time on friends and family right now. And it's probably because you changed your mind about a lot of things, you know, uh, you're probably very successful, very victorious. Um, you probably do get a lot of attention, and you're realizing that. So, um, for that being said, there's going to be new cycles in your life. Uh, but again, I feel like this person is not finished with you. I feel like they're thinking about you, and they're suffering. They're thinking about you, and they're suffering. So, they're not saying anything. But they're very much not finished with you. Aries, you versus them. November 8th to the 12th, 2021. Aries, shuffle. You versus them. I feel you even though we are apart. You see, for them, it's not over. You both know I'm not the one for you. They know they have to change. They know. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. You know... It was hard for them to stop reaching out to you. You speak to me through music. So when they listen to music, they still think about you. Aries, any other uh, messages from your person? 
Remember 18 to 12, 20, 21, Aries. So I'm starting to understand our connection. They realize now that you woke them up to spirituality, to themselves, that you were just trying to help them. You know, I think they're kind of realizing you were a blessing, that you were everything they were wishing for. You were the best thing in my life. And here, it was my fault, but I blamed you. And um, that could be a mutual energy for some of you guys because it uh, landed kind of on me. So it's more in the center. Um... Because my cards like to fall out past, present, and future. And I feel like that's a mutual energy here. Um, so, it was my fault, but I blamed you. Both of you guys think about bad times about the past. But there's still love there. I just feel like you're not really wanting to entertain it. Um, I feel like you cut it off and you're just doing your own thing in your own life. Any other messages from Aries person? November 8th to the 12th. 2021 Aries, you versus them. You came closer than anyone. They know they have a wall up. I bury myself in work to forget you. Um, I remember every detail of that day. I want to feel that way again. Again, for them, it's not over. I hope that you can forgive me one day. And then I had another card here. The timing just wasn't right for us. And this landed in my trash can. So a lot of you guys could have thrown this away. And that's how they feel. And in actuality to them, it's kind of like, look, I was not ready at the time. You know, I screwed this up. I, You were everything I was wishing for. And I screwed this up. I feel like that's kind of more what they are feeling. But... They haven't let this go. For them, this is not over. And they want to come back. They want some sort of new beginning. Even if you don't want it. Okay? I mean, you guys can make your own decisions, of course. It could also be a Libra that you're dealing with. Or a Sagittarius. Or any sign for that matter. But I feel like you've changed your mind about a lot of things. And this person, they have a lot of regrets. And um, they still want you. So... Uh, but alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and close it out here. If this resonates with you guys, you guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. Much love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you. Bye.